Hello everybody, it's Bubonic Zombie. Welcome back to episode 2 of Bear With Me. Now for those of you confused, I didn't clarify this early on, but Bear With Me is, in epi is an episodic game series. So the first few episodes of Bear With Me were episode 1, and the latter episodes, the one we're currently in, is episode 2. So this isn't the second Bear With Me video, it's bear with me episode two as in section two so we are here and we're looking for a voodoo priestess I believe and we're going to look at the note and I see a little outline of a door here as we are still looking for flint and following a lead for a voodoo charm so let's see ritual note What does it say back in 20? No, it's really ambiguous. Wow, that's a big word for a 10-year-old. I read at the 8th grade level, mind you. Okay, so now what? <laughs> I don't know. I'll take this note with me and we can come back later. Maybe we can find out something more about all of this in the meantime. Sure. Can we go and see about the steel mill now? Okay, fine. Let's do what you want to do, like always. Okay, thank you. Ugh. <laughs> so we can't take a look at the door some lumber virtual altar what can we do about that couldn't be clearer okay fire element air element love earth and water so it's like an illuminati symbol here Oh, we don't have her with us? Okay. Did the voodoo charm do anything? Hmm. Nothing magical happens. Okay. Let's go back. Okay. Strange wall thingies. Okay. And really, the reason why I'm clicking on everything is because in games like this, hidden objects and uh, mystery games, different things could happen um, depending on where you click and depending on what you click on at different times. So please bear with me as I'm investigating stuff. Okay, so there's a note right here to travel, traveler. Drown me in water, touch me with fire, bring me the mountains and skies above and for the last of these things that you have to bring is a sign of ill-fated and forever lost love only then may you enter into goddess's lair only then can you witness her everlasting glare she can teach you all about the fickleness of life that starts with embrace and ends with a knife Ooh, i like that pretty ominous so steel meal and we have the mayor's mansion start with the steel meal Oh, is that our buddy? Or someone else? Stevie! It's not Brian. Brian? What? I'm not Brian. I'm Stevie. No, you're not. You're Brian Burke. Miss, my name is Stevie Walker. I know Brian Burke. We work together and we look nothing alike. Are you kidding? You're identical. Is that mustache real? Of course it is! Why? Does Brian have a fake mustache? No, no, he has a real mustache, and it's better than yours. <laughs> he wishes. Wait, so am I supposed to play along and pretend you're not really Mike? Who's Mike? Ugh, he means Brian. I'm not Brian! We're totally different! He's a whiny, flat-faced nerd, and I'm the devil make hair dangerous and super handsome type. Just <laughs> look at my mustache! Look at it! They're kind of sleazy. Are you also the sleazy type? Is there something I can help you with? This here is a crime scene, so, you know, carry on. Can we have a look-see inside? Absolutely not. Doll, I got this. I know how these things go down. So, Sammy. Stevie. Is there something we can get you to make your shift here a bit more comfortable? Are you suggesting a bribe? Cause that might be a federal offense. Might be. You're not sure. I am not, actually. I mean, it's a type of offense for sure. Listen. 
I know how much you guys make. It's not a lot. What do you say? We give you a little something-something, and you let us snoop around for, like, a minute. Hmm. I don't know. Come on, man. I thought we were dealing with the devil-may-care dangerous guy here. <sighs> Guess I was wrong. Whoa, whoa, you are. I mean, I am dangerous and handsome. So handsome. I mean, I'm getting dizzy over here, Ted. Doll's getting dizzy over there, Stan. Okay, fine. <laughs> what do you have? What? Isn't that how these things go down? You have to give me something that's like the definition of a bribe. <sighs> I haven't thought this through, to be honest. Well, we don't have any money. What? You're terrible at this. Away with you both. Come back when you can actually follow up on your offer. <laughs> okay, let's see. There's a pipe. Hey, don't touch that. That's evidence. Okay. Bree. Cog. Hey, don't touch that. That's evidence. Okay. Of a coin pamphlet. Can I give him a coin? Hmm. Hey, how about a proper old fashioned bribe? Hmm. I don't know. Let me see. We, let's we need to it. sneak inside the mill somehow. Sneak inside. Okay. Breathe. Hey! Where do you think you're going? This is a crime scene. Let me see what's on the map. Can we go to the mayor's mansion. Hello. Do you know what time it is? Who's there? <laughs> Late night pizza delivery, National Security Committee. We have to save the president, door to door preachers, real estate inspectors, never mind. Oh, let's see, there's a place off to the side here. Never mind, okay. This place that says, like, question marks. Let's see what's over there. What the? Maybe we should just... Yeah, let's go back. Oh, it's... <laughs> it's not completed. <laughs> okay. Gotta find a way to get into the steel mill. Okay, so let me try the intercom again. Hello? Do you know what time it is? Who's there? Real estate inspectors. It's the overpriced mansion inspection. Can we come in? Your colleague was here just this morning. Wait, really? Yes. Now leave me alone. It's the middle of the night. Well, I'm stumped. Late night pizza delivery. Late night pizza delivery. Enjoy the bite out of our midnight special. Late night pizza? What nonsense is this? We would appreciate it if you didn't bash on our business model, sir. Be gone, you kids. That's rude. Some people. <laughs> 
Order of Preachers! Hello there, fellow corrupt official. Do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, the Almighty Buck? Absolutely not! Didn't think so. <laughs> okay, we have to save the President! It's the National Security Committee. We need to talk to the mayor. It's urgent. And what is this all about? We need him to save the president's life, man. Hmm. And who is our president? God damn it. <laughs> okay. Who is our president? Howard? No, no. His mandate ended last year. No. You're thinking of Mitchell. Am I? Was he the one with the dress? All right. Whatever. Will you let us in? God damn it. Be gone, you kids. I tried all of these, so never mind. Okay. We're not gonna get in here. So what can we do to get into the steel mill? And talk to him again? You got something for me? You mean like a knuckle sandwich? You have a sandwich? Where do they find you guys? <laughs> okay. I don't know if I have anything. It was a fish skeleton. How about this nice comb for your mustache? What am I supposed to do with this? Well, if you put it like that. <laughs> And a feather, oil can. You look like a kind of man who appreciates a good feather. Well, look no further, friend. Here it is. What am I supposed to do with this? Okay. The pamphlet. There you go, buddy. You're welcome. The amazing world of bubbles. What the hell is this? It's a pamphlet that'll make you a billionaire. It's your ticket out of here. The one chance to make it. Mom's spaghetti and all that. What am I supposed to do with this? Read it cover to cover. Take a seminar or two. Boom. You're in. In where? The big leagues, buddy. The big leagues. Is that a thing? Oh, it is, Stevie. I've seen it. Really? How was it? They... they should have sent a poet. Can you feel it, buddy? Feel what? The warmth. I can feel it. What is it? It's a blanket made of money, keeping you warm on the cold winter nights. A blanket made of money. All right, go on in. <laughs> in there but rubble and ash, anyways. <laughs> Idiot. Once I'm a billionaire, I'll buy the police station and fire that stupid rich. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Stupid rich with his stupid wife and stupid kids. Aww. Let's go in. Let that idiot dream. Wow, he's really gullible. That's not a good quality for a police officer. Yeah, and taking a bribe is. Good point. <laughs> okay, see you later, Stevie. Shouldn't we, <clears throat> like, uh... What? You know, establish a perimeter? What does that even mean? Besides... Do I look like a cop to you? No, you look like a homeless man. No, well, <laughs> bear. Is it the stubble? It's more your posture and the dusty old... That's the color. It's dust noir. A dusty dark, uh, color. It's just dust, Ted. It's falling off of... Yeah, well this place is dusty. It's dusting up my... You're dusty. Now, let's <laughs> get to work, God damn it! I don't feel like standing inside a burned down factory at night for some reason. <laughs> Okay, so we have the crane. Bucket. We can't reach it from down here. Sure wish we had that magical attic hook with us right now. Oh yeah, whatever happened to that? It served its purpose, I guess. Wouldn't want to make things too easy now. <laughs> yeah, when you go from episode 1 to episode 2, the inventory you had from episode 1 does not carry over. There's a wrench. Ow! 
I'll just take this adjust a babble wrench with me. Adjustable. That's what I said. <laughs> just a babble. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave it off here for this episode to see what, um, we'll find out what we can do from here. And, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.